Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. Welcome to our third and final Joyful Ramadan show, a special show this year um, that Ikra Bangla doing for young people to come on here, do a little performance and to talk about Ramadan. I hope you enjoyed our first two shows. I'm your host, Abul Hasnat, and I'm really pleased to have you again. And I hope your Ramadan has been going well and that you've been enjoying all the iftars, the taraweeh, the um, getting together with friends and family, and of course, enjoying the Quran and having regular Quran recitation. That's what I've been having in my show. I've been having at least one person read Quran. Um, and then I've had a few talks, but today I've brought three of my guests back that I was there with me on the first show. They're going to give us pure Quran, inshallah. So I'm really looking forward to that. So without further ado, I'm going to come over to these three, and I'm going to start on the further side. Young man, do salam to everyone. Remind them who you are and how old you are. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mafuz, and I am 11 years old. Mashallah. Welcome back, Mafuz. Good to have you. Young man in the middle, when you're ready, give salam to everyone. Tell them your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sajid and I'm 10 years old. Welcome back, Sajid. And finally, young man closest to me. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Afan. I'm 13 years old. Alhamdulillah. Good to have back Mahfuz, Sajid and Afan. Inshallah, I hope you can welcome them back at home as well. Right. These guys have come to give me pure Quran. In Ramadan, the month of Quran, half the month is gone, and subhanallah, you can see it in my eyes, I'm getting tired. I can see it in the eyes of these guys as well, they're getting tired. But inshallah, I know you guys are at home at tired as well, but keep going. The reward is what we will look forward to. We go through this, we struggle and strive through this Ramadan because we look forward to the reward. So, I'm going to come over to um, Afan first. I'd like you to start the reciting for me, okay? So, Afan, uh, what are you going to recite for us today? Surah Baqarah. Parts of Surah Baqarah. Okay, inshallah. When you are ready, where you go? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Shahru Ramadan al-lazhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم ومن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفن فعدة من أيام الأخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَمِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاءِ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاءِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ أحل لكم ليلة الصيام الرفث إلى نسائكم هن لباس لكم وأنتم لباس لهن علم الله أنكم كنتم تختأنون أنفسكم فتاب عليكم وعفى عنكم فالآن باشروهن وبتغوا ما كتب الله لكم وكلوا واشربوا حتى يتبين لكم الخيط الأبيض من الخيط الأسود من الفجر ثم أتموا الصيام إلى الليل ولا تباشروهن وأنتم عاكفون في المساجد تلك حدود الله فلا تعتدوها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تعقلون Sadaqallah <laughs> al-Azim. Sadaqallah al-Azim. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, it's an amazing presentation from Afan. Um, Afan, it's um, a really important part of Surah Baqarah. Are you able to tell us a bit more about the ayahs that you recited? Or even a brief uh, part about it? It talks about the revelation of the Qur'an being a Ramadan. SubhanAllah. Um, and how important is that for us this month, eh? It's important, like, Laylatul Qadr, we have to read consistently, pray a lot. And um, 
Do you know about, um, can you share us anything from the life of the Prophet ﷺ in Ramadan and Quranic revelation? What do we, what's, uh, what's some of the famous facts that we know? Uh, he would always pray a lot during Ramadan. He would always give khutbas mm. to the others. So, um, quick, quick fire question, or any of you guys can answer this. Uh, do we know, or do we know roughly, or is it said when was the very first ayah of the Quran revealed? Any clues? You guys at home, anyone know? In the mountain. It was on the mountain, that's right. In the cave. Do you know the name of the mountain? Hijra. Hira. No, the cave is called Hira. The mountain is called, do you know, Mahfuz? I can see it in the edge of your tongue. Mount Nur. Oh. Mount Nur, yes. And do you know what month that was that the Quran was first revealed? Ramadan. Ramadan, very good. MashaAllah, well done. Um, in which city was Surah Bakr revealed? Makkah or Medina? Medina. Medina. Medina, yeah. I think that's right. Uh, Surah Bakr revealed in Medina. A very hard question. I think I know the answer to this. I'm going to ask you. Over how many years did Allah reveal Surah Bakara? Well, the whole Quran was 23 years. But over how many years was the Surah Bakara revealed? That was 400 years ago. It was 1,400 years ago, but over how many years, from the first revelation to the, to the final of Surah Baqarah, over how many years was that? Do you guys know? Four. Four? Possibly. I believe, I heard somewhere, it took eight years, the whole of Surah Baqarah, the longest Surah. Um, final question I'm going to ask you about Surah Baqarah before we move on, because we got, I want to hear some more decisions. Surah Baqarah and Surah Imran, these Surahs, if you recite them regularly, do you know what happens on the Day of Judgment? Do you guys at home know what happens on the Day of Judgment if you read Surah Baqarah and Surah Imran regularly? Well, I'm going to share this with you. Surah Baqarah and Surah Imran will become like flocks of birds, clouds that will come over on the Day of Judgment to come and protect you. So if you memorize it, you want to keep practicing it, don't you? And keep reading. You guys at home, even if you haven't memorized it, pick up the Quran, read Surah Baqarah, Surah Imran regularly. So these can be flocks of birds for you on the Day of Judgment. Inshallah. If I've got that incorrect, mums and dads, check up on it and please correct and tell the full correct narration of the hadith to your children. I'm just going off memory. Um, but inshallah, if I've got it wrong, it's Ramadan. It's my fasting. That's what I blame it on. Inshallah. Right. Thank you, Afan. That was amazing. Sajid, last time we got amazing adhan from you. What have you got in store for us today? Uh, Surah Hashr, Ayah 1-5. Surah Hashr, Ayahs 1-5, to five, inshallah. So without further ado, I shall pass over to Sajid. Sajid, straighten your back, puff your chest up, nice and loud, give us Surah Hashr. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Sabbah Lillahi Ma Fis Samawati Wa Ma Fil Ard Wa Huwa Al-Aziz Al-Hakim هو الذي أخرج الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب من دياركم لأول الحشر ما ظننتم أن يخرجوا وظنوا مانعتهم حصونهم من الله فأتاهم الله فأتاهم الله من حيث لم يحتسبوا وقذف في قلوبهم الرعب يخربون بيوتهم بأيديهم وأيدي المؤمنين فاعتبروا يا أولي الأبصار ولولا أن كتب الله عليهم الجلاء لعذبهم في الدنيا ولهم في الآخرة عذاب النار ذلك بأنهم شاقوا الله ورسوله ومن يشاق الله فإن الله شديد العقاب ما قطعتم من لينة أو تركتموها قائمة على أصولها فبإذن الله وليخصي الفاسقين صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ساجد that was amazing first five ayahs of Surah Hashr um, wow I really enjoyed that and um, hope you guys at home enjoyed the recitation from ساجد and of course the recitation that we got at the very beginning from Afan um, so Surah Hashr can I ask you guys some questions on Surah Hashr? Yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's start with um, the, 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 the usual questions on Jews. What, what Jews is it in? Jews 
Just 28. Everyone agree? You guys at home agree? Inshallah, just 28. The question's going to get harder now. What number surah is it? Come on, Afan, it's on the tip of your tongue, isn't it? You guys at home, were you able to guess it without looking? I couldn't. I need to look. What surah number is it? Take a guess, Mafuz. 52. 52, you say? 112. 112? 55. 55, okay. You came closest, it's 59. I think the Quran has 114, so if it's 112, you really know which one 112 is, don't you? <laughs> Ashallah. Um, even harder question now. Um, how many ayah does Surah Hashem have? Fourteen? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, Mafuz? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. You're correct. It's twenty-four. Very close. Very close, mashallah. Right. Um, well, I was going to ask you about Surah Hashar. Surah Hashar. True or false? There are... Three, the three final ayahs of the of Surah Hashr glorify quite a few names of Allah. True or false? True. True? True. True? True. I think that was an easy one. Everyone got that at home? Who <laughs> Allah Everyone knows that ayah. Sorry, my chair's, my chair's been fasting, so it's been making funny noises as well. Right. Um, what else could I ask you? Well, actually, um, enough doing tests and stuff. I, let, me, let me go back to asking Afan yourself. Obviously, you're, you're trained to become a Hafiz, inshallah. Uh, how has it been this Ramadan? Yeah, it's been hard. And then, as well as school and stuff. SubhanAllah. So you've had to combine morning recitation. No, no, no sorry, let me start again. You've had to combine suhoor with fajr, with morning recitation, with school, then with after-school recitation, and then... Iftar, and then Taraweeh, and is there recitation practice in between Iftar and Taraweeh? No. no, you get that break, don't you? No. Subhanallah, imagine that seven commitments that uh, Afan has had in the month of Ramadan. Are you going to get a break in the last ten days? No, Subhanallah. Well, Afan told us last time, it was beautiful to hear from him, that in the last, uh, um, last programme, he told us how he carries on and keeps himself going in doing this just because he looks forward to the reward of becoming a Hafiz. Have I got that all right? Yeah. Is there anything more you want to add to it? Yeah. Nothing about keeping mum and dad happy. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Right, and um, Sajid, very good recitation from you, uh, Surah Hashir. Um, how did you find that Surah memorising it? Uh, it was a bit tough at first because I hadn't read it before, but uh, once I kept reading it, I got the hang of it and it took me around two weeks to memorize it. MashaAllah, two weeks, but you kept going and that's how you memorized it. Um, and how has Ramadan and school life been for you? Uh, I'm homeschooled, so it's been good uh, so far. And uh, with the work and uh, the recitation and fasting, it's uh, getting a bit harder. I can imagine, yeah, and you're homeschooling. So um, homeschooling, a lot of people don't realize it's, it's harder at home. Because in school you get braces, over at home school it's constant, isn't it? Alhamdulillah. Well done, well done to both of you. Right then, Mahfuz, um, you're going to be my final reciter for today, inshallah. What do you intend to recite for us? Because last time you gave us the uh, first ten eyes of Surah Kaf, didn't you? So what are you going to do for us today? Today I'm going to be reading the second ten eyes of Surah Kaf. The second ten eyes of Surah Kaf, mashallah. Right, so the last bit of recitation and our last programme of Joyful Ramadan before... We take a break for this particular program until next year. But of course, I'd like everyone to join for our normal program every week, Islam, the way of life. But this special program that we've done first year this year, these guys have been brave enough to come on. I hope maybe next year I can get one of you guys to come on from home. Mums and dads, push your kids forward. Get them to come on here. It's a good, good confidence builder. Um, so Mahfuz, if I come over to you, when you're ready, with Bismillah, give us the second 10 ayahs of Surah Kaf. A'udhu billahi min rajim فضربنا على آذانهم في الكهف سنين عددا ثم بعثناهم لنعلم أي الحزبين أخصى لما لبثوا أمدا نحن نقص عليك نبأهم بالحق 
إنهم فتية آمنوا بربهم وزدناهم هدى وربطنا على قلوبهم إذ قاموا فقالوا ربنا رب السماوات والأرض لن ندعو من دونه إلها لقد قلنا إذا شططا هؤلاء قوم اتخذوا من دونه آلهة لو لا يأتون عليهم بسلطان بين فمن أظلم من من افترى على الله كذبا وإذ اتزلتموهم وما يعبدون إلا الله فأبوا إلى الكهف ينشر لكم ربكم من رحمته ويهيئ لكم من أمركم مرفقا وترى الشمس إذا طلعت تزاور عن كهفهم ذات اليمين وإذا غربت تقردهم ذات الشمال وهم في فجوة منه ذلك من آيات الله من يحد الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وتحسبهم أيقاظا وهم وقود ونقلبهم ذات اليمين وذات الشمال وكلبهم باسط جرائيه بالوصيد لو اطلعت عليهم لوليت منهم فرارا ولملئت منهم رعبا وكذلك بعثناهم ليتساءلوا بينهم قال قائل منهم كم لبثتم قالوا لبثنا يوما أو بعض يوم قالوا ربكم أعلم بما لبثتم فبعثوا أحدكم بورقهم هذه إلى المدينة فلينظر فلينظر أيها أزكى طعاما فليأتكم برزق منه وليتلطف وليتلطف ولا يشعرن بكم أحدا إنهم إن يظهروا عليكم يرجموكم أو يعيدوكم في ملتهم ولن تفلهوا إذا أبدا وكذلك صدق الله ولي رزق You've done 20 Subhanallah You're going to go for what You want to add in 21 as well Subhanallah MashaAllah um, That was amazing from Mahfuz, because he's done it off memory. He actually didn't get much practice. He decided this last minute. So, alhamdulillah, well done to him. And as you can see, he's got such a flow in it. He finished the 10 ayah, and he was still willing to carry on to get ayah 21 in. So, mashallah, well done, Mahfuz. It's amazing. Right, um, we don't have too much longer to go. So, I'm going to do a quick fire quiz round on what Mahfuz has done. <coughs> Excuse me. My, my fasting is kicking in as well. Right, um, Surah Kaf. What juice is that in? Or which two juices is that in? 15 and 16. 15 and 16. Do you guys agree? Mm. Yeah, I agree with that too as well. Uh, what surah number is it? 18. Very good. Nice and fast. I hope you got it as fast as, the, as well. How many ayahs are there? 110. 110. 110. Wow, you guys. Are, I've got surah kaf experts in front of me. Okay, how many stories are there in it? Four. Very good. I want you to each tell me one of the stories. Tell me the first story. Somebody quickly shout uh, it out. The one about the cave, the people of the cave. People of the cave. Second story. The two gardens. The men of the two gardens. Very good. You can say it loudly. No need to whisper it. The seven sleepers of the cave. The two. Oh, I shouldn't say the seven because uh, the people, the sleepers of the cave. The men of the two gardens. What's the third story? One of the, the famous stories. Mm. The clue is a man with a green hat. The clue is the. Um, uh, the prophet that has the second biggest ummah. You guys at home got that? Isa. The prophet of Musa. Oh. Musa and Khidr. Yeah? And the last story, what is the last story of Surah Kaf? Um, Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Very good. There is a mention of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. But who is it that mentions Ya'juj and Ma'juj? Or who is it that locks in the Ya'juj and Ma'juj? Uh, a king. A king, very good. Dhulqarnayn? Yeah. Yeah? MashaAllah. We don't have much time. I want to ask you guys about last week. We, we, um, Umar and Suleiman came when they dealt with that Taraweeh and Ramadan hacks. But SubhanAllah, we've run out of time because we had some amazing Quranic recitation. And um, MashaAllah, these guys are amazing. And I'm not going to see them again maybe until next year. But I hope they'll come back as guests for me in uh, my program, my regular program, Islam, the way of life. I thank you as well for joining us. Alhamdulillah, it's been an amazing um, first ever uh, Joyful Ramadan program for Ikra Bangla. 
I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys at home enjoyed it. I hope you took things away from us to go and talk about and ponder on. And remember Allah. And this is a special month. It's the month of Quran. It's the month to remember Allah. It's the month to multiply your worship. So I hope you've had a great Ramadan. I hope you continue to have the, um, the remainder of the Ramadan being great and a great last 10 days. Remember me, my guests, their families and all of our families in your dua and remember your own family's dua. Remember the Ummah in the dua. And until next year, I look forward to seeing you in my regular program at Ikra Bangla and all at Ikra Bangla. I wish you a very great and joyful Ramadan. Until next time, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.